We're embarking on a journey into the future of flight, exploring the fascinating intersection of aviation and intellectual innovation. The focus of our deep dive today is Advanced Crew Resource Management, or CRM, as we predict it in 2024. To begin, let's address the core question, what is CRM? Born out of the 70s, CRM was a response to the finding that human error, primarily miscommunication and flawed decision-making, were prominent contributors to aviation accidents. In the heart of CRM lies the human factors theory. Using Hawkins' model as a lens, we realize that having technical skills is only half the battle. The way humans interact with each other and with systems plays a critical role in high-pressure situations as those found in aviation. Fast forward to 2024 where we see a radical shift as we begin to integrate virtual reality into CRM training. It's more than just a technological step-up, it's an application of Kolb's experiential learning theory. David Kolb's experiential learning theory, established in 1984, offers a pivotal framework for understanding how individuals learn from experiences. The theory proposes a four-stage learning cycle, concrete experience, where learners engage in new experiences, reflective observation, involving thinking back on these experiences. Abstract conceptualization, where learners construct theories or models based on their reflections, and active experimentation, where these theories are tested in new situations. Pilots engage in simulated flight scenarios, reflect on their actions during debriefings, develop a deeper understanding of CRM principles through theoretical training, and then apply these insights in subsequent flights or simulations. This approach not only enhances their practical skills, but also fosters a deeper comprehension of interpersonal dynamics and decision-making processes in the cockpit, thus contributing significantly to aviation safety and efficiency. In these VR training simulations, every decision, every action counts. The emphasis is on fully understanding one's surroundings, comprehending their implications, and anticipating their future status all principles proposed by Ensley in her model of situational awareness. Another important aspect of advanced CRM is data-driven decision-making. Analyzing heaps of data to make informed, rational choices around pilot training and performance aligns with Simon's behavioral model of rational choice. Simon's behavioral model of rational choice posits that decision-making is a bounded rational process where individuals aim to make the best decision with limited information and cognitive resources. This model challenges the notion of absolute rationality, suggesting that people often settle for a satisfactory solution rather than an optimal one due to constraints in knowledge, time, and computational capacity. This is where data analytics transforms CRM. We're no longer guessing what pilots may need for better training. We're using data insights to highlight specific areas for improvement, tailoring training to the unique needs of individual pilots. Not to forget, diversity in this era is not just an option, it's a fundamental requirement. Here, the social identity theory by Tajful and Turner operates as the backbone, including varied perspectives, from gender to cultural to experiential, enhances the whole decision-making process. Evidence for this can be found in Chen et al.'s 2022 study on gender diversity in the cockpit. Diversity isn't just about policies, it's a strategic advantage in CRM, creating a breeding ground for innovation and problem-solving through diverse viewpoints. Lastly, I want us to discuss whether aviation's ultimate adversary. In 2024, pilots are not just trained to face storms, they're trained to preempt them. This approach finds its roots in Lazarus and Folkman's stress coping theory. Stress is a result of an individual's perception of a situation being beyond their coping abilities, leading to psychological and physiological responses. This theory emphasizes the role of cognitive appraisal in determining how stress is experienced and managed, suggesting that coping strategies are selected based on this appraisal process. It highlights the dynamic and individualized nature of coping with stress, underscoring its relevance in varied contexts including high-pressure professions like aviation. Each simulated gust of wind, each drop of simulated rain acts as a lesson in resilience, adaptability, and foresight. It's truly CRM in all its glory. Training pilots not just to fly, but to conquer whatever challenges the skies might present. In conclusion, advanced CRM in 2024 represents a brilliant blend of theory, 
advanced technology, and deep human insight. It's proof of how far we've come in understanding and enhancing the human contribution to safety in aviation. Subscribe Aviator Cloud. Thank you.